Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, uh, and in this video, uh, we're going to look at some software called FFmpeg, uh, which is actually making this Mandelbrot uh, appear on screen, and we are zooming in. Uh, there is a slight jerkiness, only because I am screen capturing, recording this video on uh, my Raspberry Pi 4. Um, this is my Oak Pi laptop, which is a 4 gigabyte uh, Raspberry Pi 4. Um, and yeah, um, I can even go full screen on this and enjoy the zoom. Um, but I'll uh, drop out of zoom and uh, just explain a little bit about FFmpeg. Uh, it's free software, you can install it on Windows, Mac or Linux, obviously Raspberry Pis as well. Um, and if you were to install it on a Mac or Windows, please go to uh, do a search for FFmpeg. Um, and it, there'll be instructions there on how to do it. Uh, I will cover how to install on Linux um, or Raspberry Pis uh, later on in the video. Um, so what can you do with it uh, other than just uh, viewing a Mandelbrot? Um, basically you can uh, you can convert files, um, you can play around with video files, audio files, uh, you can add filters, uh, you can have add subtitles to videos if you wish, um, you can pull the audio from a music video or something like that, um, or a home video, um, and then you can change that audio or have no audio, um, and then put it back in. Um, you can take stills from video. Um, so if you know there's a really good shot as you're panning, um, you, if you look at the timestamp, yeah, you can pull a series of frames, or you can do all the frames from the video, and you can play around with it. And I'll tell you an example later on what I did for my spooky stuff um, for Halloween um, later on in the video. But um, let's get rid of the uh, Mandelbrot because we're all. Uh, zoning out watching that um, but here is a video that I created um, earlier on my iPhone um, 11 Pro Max um, and it's just gonna thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials I'm Martin Parker uh, and I'm getting ready to do a video uh, where we'll watch me again on my Oak Pi laptop um, so yes uh, I'm doing this video because I'm going to use this video as part of um, a tutorial to do with FFmpeg, uh, which is excellent open source uh, software, free. Um, you can download it, you can convert files, um, and I'm going to use this video as part of that tutorial. Um, you can have some fun with it as well. So, have some fun. Right, so that was the video that I did earlier on my phone, um, and you, you may have come across the situation where you don't have a codec for something. Well, FFmpeg, FFmpeg comes with stacks of codecs, um, so you can pretty much work with any media file. Um, you can convert it to whichever. Now here uh, is the original file, um, and here is a copy of it, and I've changed the file extension from an MOV to a MP4. Now, I'm not going to play it because it's the same clip because it's a bit pointless, but how I did it was using FFmpeg. So FFmpeg in the command line, dash i for the input file, just move my uh, mouse out of the way, um, and then pass in the original file. So I am um, and press tab and it will complete the rest. Um, and then if I press i Parker, because that's what I call my uh, my iPhone. Um, so that is the output file um, and it knows um, that it's quite clever. Um, so the input, you're telling it what it is. Uh, you don't have to put in dash o for the output. It just knows um, on how you format it out the text. Uh, you just have to have spaces in between these um, arguments. Um, so if I press enter, that is how it would do it. Um, but because the file exists already, it's going to ask me if I don't want to overwrite. And I'm going to press no because it would take a few minutes if it could do it. Um, it might do it, um, but I'm already using some resources, screen capturing and recording this video. Um, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, it, it does take a couple of minutes. Um, the clip is a 39 second clip, um, so it will go off and do it. 
um, so that is how you can convert a video to a different file format you can specify a certain audio um, codec um, and video codecs when you are working with FFmpeg um, and you can split off if you've got a mono input for your audio it sometimes um, your recording might not be stereo depending on what equipment how old it was um, and you can copy the left channel so the right channel so it kind of effects to effectively makes it stereo um, so it's brilliant um, but what we're going to do is a couple of examples uh, we're going to pull the audio from iParker and we're just going to have a little fun with it um, so how I how you can do it is ffmpeg dash i for the input and we're going to use the iParker file this time um, dot mp4 and we're going to pass an output um, i audio dot mp3 now because it is a different file extension it knows um, and it's going to convert it um, well just take the audio from the video file uh, it only takes a few seconds even though it is a 39 second um, video clip and there we go it's done um, so there's the uh, duration of the audio um, mp3 format um, the, uh, the hertz and the bit rate in here as well so there you go um, you can actually find all that information out by using FF probe which comes with when you install FFmpeg um, so if I pass in I audio press tab and it'll auto complete and there we go we've got the duration uh, mp3 um, bit rate and the um, hertz of the uh, audio clip um, there is also FF play so if I pass in that and press tab complete it off and if I press um, if I get my head my headset near to a speaker um, you should hear the audio press Q to stop that uh, you did if you didn't uh, on screen there was a, um, a pop-up window with uh, a frequency um, for the audio um, as a visualization um, but let's have some fun with it let's play around with the sound a little um, you can make it so you it's a spooky sort of sound like a, you can do it like a robotic thing or you could change around with a pitch so let us um, do that so if I do FF play um, and we'll pass in the input uh, which will be I audio dot mp3 um, and then we're going to pass in an audio filter with a dash AF uh, and we're going to use one called rubber band um, and uh, you'll see what that does in a moment uh, and we're going to work with pitch and we're going to pass in 1.7 well 1.0 would be a normal um, so let's go with 1.8 um, so get my head near the speakers and um, see what you think of it <laughs> so there you go I quit that by pressing Q um, and you can make it go the other way as well so if we do uh, that'll be slightly sl well lower pitch than my voice so we'll go with that one so I'll start that one <laughs> so there you go um, there's a couple of examples uh, we can also do a, a flanger so we can make it sound um, quite spooky so we're passing in the uh, we're gonna do the audio sorry FF player uh, the input is going to be the I audio um, and we're gonna use the audio filter um, and we'll pass in a flanger to make it shaky sort of uh, scary sound uh, we'll pass in a whoops, delay and we'll put in 10 uh, we'll put in a depth of 
we'll go 10 uh, and I'll pass in a speed on how it does it uh, we'll go with 8 for now and uh, play with that see what you think to this thank you for joining Raspberry Pi PTR tutorials I'm Martin Parker uh, and I'm getting ready to do a video uh, my so there you go it's kind of spooky <laughs> um, so yeah you can play around with stuff like that um, like I mentioned earlier I did some video clips um, for um, Halloween a couple of years back um, and I can't remember exactly which ones these are um, this one I believe I think this one is the So don't worry about the audio, but basically this is the original clip. And watch this can of coke doesn't move. And if you don't believe me, just rewind and watch it back. I'm holding my phone and I'm waving with my overhand, but if you notice the can of coke moved on the spooky clip. And that was done in a GUI that I created with Python um, and Takinta using FFmpeg and uh, the Pillow um, imaging library. Um, so that was one that I did and this is another one so this is the uh, original clip so you see my head um, and then the spooky version I've removed my head <laughs> and that's all uh, using my GUI that I did in Python um, and obviously uh, using FFmpeg and uh, Pillow uh, imaging library and how I did that, uh, I don't have the code to actually show you, um, but um, basically um, the original clip, um, the GUI then sets FFmpeg um, dismantling the video clip into frames. So you get basically it's just pictures um, and then pillow imaging library, then adjust the pictures accordingly wherever I set it through the GUI. Um, on how it works um, and then FFmpeg uh, puts it all back into a video uh, from all them pictures that have been manipulated um, so that is how I've created all them so there you go um, and if you want to know how to do the Mandelbrox I'm, I'm sure some people may have uh, uh, be interested in that uh, FF um, play um, passing dash f and we're using the lav phi um, format and we're passing an input of mandelbrot and this is how you do it um, like so okay um, so yeah ffmpeg it's excellent um, like I say you can you can do loads with it um, there is manual pages so if you type in um, man um, and then FFmpeg or FF Probe or FF Play, uh, it'll give you all the information on how to actually uh, use um, the command line to adjust um, or modify videos or audio. Um, yeah, it's excellent. So how do you install it? So let's have a look. Let me just stop that. Um, so, uh, like I say, if you're on Windows or Mac, um, I'm not sure because I don't have uh, a Mac. Um, but Windows, um, I think you, you'd be better off just searching, I'm afraid. Um, I did do it on my Windows 10 laptop, but I got rid of Windows, so I'm using Linux on my laptop now. And it's straightforward on Linux and Raspberry Pi, so you just simply sudo <coughs> apt get install um, ffmpeg, and that's it. Press enter. Um, it's going to say I've got the latest, um, I'm, I'm alright, um, but it will install for you, play around with it, uh, it's excellent, um, enjoy, and uh, I thank you for watching this video, if you've liked it, please like it, and click that button, um, please share it to somebody that, you, that this might benefit for somebody, rather than installing all these softwares and stuff that you can get online. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe if, uh, if you want more helpful, useful videos like this in the future. Okay, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.